What's going on in here? I just want thirty dollars. Thirty bucks in the fire. here and all the kiddos. Uh, road Charber, how far is this walk, Kevin? A mile? Uh, it's about 7.2, I think. 7.2 miles. We've been at it for four hours and we only had one bottle of water. Everybody's about to die. We've left a few but people along the path on the way here. We, we don't know. Maria? Where are you? We don't know if the Crosbys are going to make it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It, it's it's touch here. and go. Some might just have to have to be buried in the mausoleum. Final resting place ahead. Something you gotta do though in Roach. It's kind of a way of passage. Visit you go to Roach, year, bring me a you gotta hit up the mausoleum. Well, I would read it if I could, but I can't.
recording the trip. I keep filling the shanks, but I don't know where it's coming from. Okay. Oh, here. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. in the galley here, Can Stephanie. Some tacos over here. Some beans. Nice. Having some beans with some Mai Tais. <laughs> Harbor, day three, and we are headed up to the colors right now in the boat in the little dinghy. We got me, Kevin Severe, Tim Chaffel. What up, what up? So, one of the cool things that they do every night at Roach Harbor is the colors, and what are the it's US, Canada, and yeah. Great, yeah. Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. So, we're gonna come up here. Uh, dingy our boat and watch it. So, patriotic, go America. Russ and Diane. <laughs> Do it over my head. I know. I know. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>
Another satisfied client. Thank you very much, <laughs> my hero. <laughs> so does somebody have to have 31? No. It's our fourth and final day here in Roach Harbor. We're about to pick it up here shortly and head over to our next destination, which will be Fisherman's Bay. Roach Harbor did not disappoint again. This place is just absolutely incredible, amazing. Um, definitely doesn't feel like you're in Washington state. It feels like you're maybe in a different country or something. I guess we're pretty close to Canada. Um, so much stuff to do here. Uh, we'd had some friends that came in, rented one of the cabins uh, right up here behind me. Did campfires out there. Uh, our boats are right over here. You can dinghy over to the main, um, I guess kind of fun area. I don't know what to call it. They got pickleball courts over here. We did a lot of pickleball in the mornings. Uh, pool for the kids. Campfires at cottages. We went on hikes to uh, the mausoleum, so just a ton of stuff to do. And uh, this area is just really cool, a lot of fun for the kids. We actually even went diving over here. Uh, dove down, found iPhones from people dropping in, fixed trim tabs diving, so the dive system definitely worked uh, better than expected, especially in the Puget Sound and with a thick wetsuit. But this was just one of the areas. We'll go check out another one. Another part of Roach Harbor, which I guess I kind of call the hub, of Roach Harbor, not really a downtown, but where you can come up, they have the McMillan's, they have the dining area up here, uh, McMillan's Dining, incredible. We had an awesome dinner there. The cheeks were hurting from laughing so much, great time. And then you have the hotel, where some other friends stayed right here at the hotel. Uh, people also get married down here, right in the uh, grassy area. There's bocce ball, there's shops, ice cream, general store where you can get pretty much anything you need for your trip. Um, they have it pretty well stocked. The one thing that you got to watch for is ice. Ice is a hot commodity and yeah so kind of just this main hub area anything you want to do from the hotels to chilling in the grassy areas, bocce ball, shopping, restaurants, <clears throat> really it has it all. When you're at Roach Harbor uh, like any place when you're boating you can either cook on your boats uh, or eat at one of the restaurants and around here they have the like I said the McMillan's restaurant they also have uh, Madrona Bar and Grill which is outside seating 
Uh, lunch is to like 3.45 and then a dinner menu after that. And then the Lime Kiln Cafe right over here. Uh, great place for some donuts, breakfast, easy lunch. Um, so yeah, a lot of options for dining in Roach Harbor and really good food at all locations. And last but not least, uh, Roach Harbor and any marina is just the dock life. Kind of the base camp for everything that we're doing, whether it be crabbing, uh, paddle boarding, partying on the docks. Uh, every night here they also do colors at sunset. So like even last night we had a huge flotilla of, I think it was about six or seven dinghies who went out for the colors and it was just a blast. Uh, great, great night. So between the fun area over there, kind of the hub of Roach Harbor and dock life, there's just a lot to do. So now the party crew is about ready to pack it up and head on to our next location at Fisherman's Bay. Let's do it, suckers! Let's do it. <laughs>